everyone. My name is Ashwin Ramesh Babu and I represent our group from Hewlett Packard Labs. Today I will be presenting one of our works titled Benchmark Generator Framework with Custom Distortions for Image Classifier Robustness. With more and more of AI reaching common people, we have the responsibility to ensure that it's doing the job right. There is more for evaluation than just the common metrics that is being used by developers today. The area of adversarial attacks have shown us numerous instances where model that were assumed to be very accurate performs really bad when a small perturbation is introduced to the input data. These works have exposed the weakness of deep learning and has opened up numerous tracks to counter them. Lately, people have been developing benchmarks in addition to the usual metrics to evaluate how robust the deep learning models are. In that spirit, we propose an adversarial data generator that introduces natural distortions to create data to evaluate and train deep learning models. Our method allows users to bring in and incorporate custom distortions that fits their application. We achieve competitive results with existing standard benchmarks such as CFAR-10C and ImageNet-C. For robustness evaluation, ImageNet C and CFAR 10C are the most popular existing benchmarks. We will be evaluating our proposed method against this approach. Furthermore, some of the methods like AugMix and NoiseMix are popular methods for data augmentation for training. As our approach is used for both evaluation of robustness and training, we will evaluate against both of these approaches. This slide shows the overall workflow of the proposed method. Given a data set, the ML agent add distortions to the input data, iteratively adding small perturbations and evaluating the change in probabilities. This process of adding minute distortions is done until a misclassification happens. The sample that contains the distortions and cost misclassification are called adversarial samples, which will be used for evaluation of robustness and further to train the deep learning models. To the right, we can observe some of the the adversarial samples generated with our proposed method. We show different types of distortions added to the original image, such as Gaussian noise, blur, and illuminate. The distortions are very minute that it is hard to visually see, which proves to our point that minute distortions can still cause well-trained deep learning models to fail. In this slide, we will look into our core contribution. In general, in reinforcement learning, people follow an approach called deep tree search to find the right set of move at the current step to maximize the final reward. For this, people follow a tree-based search and reach multiple levels deeper to find the right set of actions to be taken at the current step. This is more like calculating all set of actions and evaluating their possible outcomes. This approach has gained popularity in solving several board games, but this approach can be computationally very expensive. Also, in board games, the actions once taken cannot be reversed, but in our application, where previously added distortions, if it does not contribute towards misclassification, can be removed in the future. Hence, to simplify the deep tree search, we propose an additional removal step. This means at every step, a set of K noises are added to the input image and K minus one noises that were previously added, considering that they were significant, but are insignificant at the current step, they will be removed. This way, at every step, the net, the net addition of distortion is maintained at one. With our experiments, we were able to observe that this approach drastically reduced the computational cost while maintaining similar results. Our approach is capable of adding multiple distortions as well. This means that our approach will choose the best set of patches to which distortions will be added along with the right set of given step. In the figure, the different types of distortions are color coded over here. This means that the final misclassified image carries a mixture of distortions in them. To compare the efficiency of our proposed method, we use some of the well-established metrics. One of them is RobustBench. RobustBench is a platform to evaluate how robust trained deep learning models are. We use RobustBench to compare some of the very popular adversarial retraining and training methods on the existing benchmarks and our benchmark. In addition to the RobustBench, we also look at other metrics such as accuracy, degradation and prediction, uh, transferability across other architectures and others. So first, we will be looking at the performance of our benchmark on the CFAR 10 data set. In this slide, we compare the performance of popular training and retraining methods on the CFAR 10C and our proposed benchmark. The y-axis represents the method and the x-axis represents the accuracy. 
we have evaluated with two different types of distortions, which is the Gaussian blur and the Gaussian noise and three popular architectures. When comparing all the six graphs, the performance on our generated benchmark is the lowest compared to the original test set and the CFAR 10C. Furthermore, the amount of distortions that our approach added is very less compared to the CFAR 10C, and this is quantified with the L2 metric. So similar to the CFAR 10C, here we will be evaluating it on ImageNet data set. Similar, we see similar patterns for the ImageNet data as well, where uh, the adversarial samples that are generated with our approach, uh, these mo the popular methods perform the least when compared to the original test set and the ImageNet 10, ImageNet C data set. So this can be visually observed in this uh, slide where uh, you can compare the amount of noise that is being added by the competitor and our approach. You can you'll hardly be able to see some of the noises that is being added by our approach, whereas uh, the popular competitor adds uniform noise across the image. Mm -hmm. Next, we will look into training with our method. We trained popular architectures with the adversarial samples generated with our proposed method and evaluate them on the original test set and CFAR 10C. The values in the table shows the difference in the performance between the test set and the CFAR 10C. The lower the values signify that there is no degradation in performance when evaluated on the normal test set and the adversarial test set. This means the trained model is more stable to adversarial perturbations. From the table, it can be observed that our method performs well and have a low degradation value when compared to the other existing argumentation approaches for training. This proves that the adversarial samples generated with our approach works better than some of the existing augmentation techniques. Similarly, we look at the transferability of our approach, where we have a model as a base to generate adversarial samples. We evaluate the effect of the generated adversarial samples with one architecture as a base uh, on the other architectures. For example, here on the first row, you can see that we evaluate the samples generated with ResNet 50 on the Inception v3 and VGG16. Similarly, we perform the same on the other two models as well. It can be observed that there is a good transferability across the other architectures based on our results on the table on the left. So our work has been open sourced and it can be found at this repository. Um, for example, So I can open one of our repositories and it, it can quickly show our demo. So here we have the demonstration of our trust ML framework. Here we have all the codes integrated to generate adversarial samples. And you will be able to see some of the sample output here as well. So to conclude, our approach outperforms the state of the art in measuring and retraining for robustness on certain established metrics on the benchmark data set. It can use custom distortions relevant to deployment. This makes it suitable to test robustness against non malicious distortions, and it can be used for algorithmic audits. Thank you so much.